continues to wreak havoc across the world, bringing global economies to a standstill. The World Health Organization has now recommended the use of PPE as a key method to mitigate the spread of the infection. But the environmental implications of billions of single-use PPE kits is alarming. Take a look at our next report for more details. From discarded latex gloves to disposable face masks, the plastic crisis has been exacerbated due to the COVID-19 pandemic. You can find them in, oh, that one's nice. Billions of tons of PPE is being used by medical staff around the globe, most of which would take hundreds of years to decompose naturally. Personal protective equipment is killing the wildlife. While it is life-saving for us humans, it is deadly for birds, fishes and other wildlife across the globe. But scientists in Siberia have come up with a solution. A device that turns medical waste into synthesis gas and inert slag that can be used in fuel and construction. This reactor is very important now when we need to dispose of the virus that includes mask, robes and other components that are needed for the fight against the virus. High temperatures enable us to eliminate them completely. In addition, it is recycled for 100% into a needed produce like synthesis gas and slag. PPE mostly contains polypropylene, which can be converted into petrol by pyrolysis which is a chemical process that breaks down plastic at a high temperature between 300 to 400 degrees Celsius for an hour without oxygen. Package waste is fed to the central chamber where the temperature is around 1200 to 1400 Celsius. Under this temperature, the decomposition of all complex chemical elements to simple substances takes place and it is transformed into a combustible fuel synthesis gas. Parts that did not transform into gas, for instance, non-organic parts, come into a melting chamber. The so-called plasmatron that generates high temperatures is situated on top of the melting chamber. In general, it can generate temperatures up to 5000 Celsius that enables it to melt and utilize everything. All non-organic parts that have not been gasified are transformed into inert slag. The COVID-19 crisis spurred a rapid expansion in the production of essential plastic products as governments raced to boost their stockpiles and citizens clamoured for their share of supplies. The challenges of PPE waste management and increasing energy demand can be addressed simultaneously with the production of liquid fuel from waste PPE kits. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.